Hello everyone and welcome back to another Monster Hunter video. Today I'm going to be discussing if the Wiporium from Monster Hunter 4 u will be making a return in Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. So you may be asking yourself what is the Wiporium? So the Wiporium was a feature introduced back in Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate and basically what you could do is trade for monster parts of monsters that are not actually available to hunt in 4 Ultimate. And then from there, you can make armor sets and weapons from them. For example, let's say since Nergigante isn't in Rise, you could trade for Nergigante parts and make its armor set and weapons. Since obviously they can't add literally every monster to 4 Ultimate, they were able to add some that they really wanted to include but probably didn't have enough time to or didn't have enough resources to feasibly put them in the game, so it was just a good way of integrating them without having to fully add them to hunt. Now, it does a little bit more like duplicating items, but that's not really relevant to this video. So now you may be asking, why could we see it return? What evidence do I have the Wiporium is probably coming back? Well, this short clip right here. It is a Velocidrum armor set spotted in the new Sunbreak trailer. Obviously, this could just mean that Velocidrum is coming back, but that seems kind of unlikely to me because it doesn't really fit the overall theme for Sunbreak. What I personally believe is that this is hinting at the Wiporium. Velocidrum is kind of a lower tier monster, so it doesn't really make so much sense to add it into Sunbreak. I know they do add some lower tier monsters, but like Velocidrum really. Also, Velocidrum was one of the monsters that you could get parts for in For You, since it wasn't in the game, but it was available through the Wiporium. Another piece of evidence that we have is right here, where it shows the Courier from 4 looks like it's coming back in Sunbreak as well. Now, the Courier kind of acted like Shenry the Mailman and Rise, and it isn't directly related to the Wiporium, but it's just a fourth generation feature that may be coming back and may be hinting at the return of the Wiporium with it. Monster Hunter Rise and Sunbreak already have a bunch of parallels to the fourth generation games, such as Deviants and Apexes, Hunter Arcs and Silkbinds, and Switch skills. So it wouldn't really surprise me that they would add another fourth gen gameplay mechanic back. Also, people really enjoyed the Wiporium system when it was in For You, so I wouldn't really be too surprised if they would bring it back because it was really enjoyed by the community and I could see them catering to that in Sunbreak. My thoughts on this whole thing is, I believe it's probably coming back. I would honestly be really hyped if it returned. It's such an interesting idea and it was extremely well executed back in For You. And even if your favorite monster isn't added into the game, they can be added in the Wiporium in future updates. Like, that would be really interesting. Like, maybe um, on the roadmap, it could be like, Wiporium update, add Fatalis armor, or Wiporium update, add Dire Morales armor, or something like that. And if we could possibly even have some armor that we haven't had in 5th gen yet with the updated visuals through the Wiporium. Also, it could add a more variety of unique endgame metas. Because Rise's endgame wasn't super diverse, like it is somewhat diverse and you don't really need to use the best armor, but a lot of people do all the time. So I think the Wiporium would be a really good way to just add more meta sets into the endgame of Sunbreak. I have also never experienced it since I'm still working my way through GU and would like to experience for the first time, especially with updated visuals for armor sets like we have in Rise. Also, they may change it up a bit if they gets added to Sunbreak and I would like to see their spin on it. One last quick thing to note is that Suzuki, who is the director of Sunbreak, as probably some of you know from the Twitter and everything, his first game was for Ultimate. That is the first game he actually worked on. So I wouldn't be surprised if he's bringing back these concepts that he first learned when he got into Capcom. And I would really like to see someone who originally implemented it doing it again in Sunbreak. So that's the end of the video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of the Wiporium coming back. If you like it, if you don't like it, just let me know. I have more Monster Hunter content on my channel, so please subscribe. It helps out a lot if you want to see more. And like this video if you enjoyed it. I'm personally really hyped for Sunbreak and we'll be covering it in the future. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later.